Okay, so here I have uh, the dialogue tracks in a session. Um, this is a session in which I've already done some dialogue editing, uh, but I've just brought up a few uh, tracks directly from the AAF right here. Um, so if I move over to Soundflow, you can see that I've created a command to select the boom for all selected clips. And this is the script for it. Um, so it's very simple. It activates the main window of Pro Tools, if you have not ar already done that. And then it invokes the clip select field recorder channel and selects the channel name uh, based on the first channel that um, contains boom. And so you can see if I right click on any clip and go to matching field recorder channels, it will select this track. And so if I select more than one, and I hit, I've assigned the control B trigger for this one. So I can just hit control B. And it will now go through each and every clip in my original selection. And unfortunately, this is a bit slow. Uh, there are a lot of commands in Soundflow that happen instantaneously. But um, this does not really have any good workaround for um, how to do this faster. But as you can see, it's it's a completely automated process and it um, it selects what I had selected before. And so uh, the other great thing is that I can pretty easily, now that I have selected the boom, go to uh, make a copy of that track, and then hit another shortcut, which will then even faster go in and, and select the next channel for all of those. So that's that for that scene. You know, I have two characters here, Jean Paul and Francis. So I'll hit my other shortcut and that will give me the Francis channel. Right, so that's super easy as you can see. Most of the time it's just one character talking, so I could probably go ahead and delete this for most of it, and then I'm, I'm already pretty close. Um, right. 